Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about American politics uh, in context to Alex Garland's A24 film, Civil War. So I'm convinced that Alex Garland's A24 Civil War is an historically important film. Uh, first of all, um, five out of five star movie. It was incredibly entertaining. I really enjoyed the film. I saw it on opening night with a friend. As a movie, I really enjoyed it, right? But I think it's very important for every um, American who uh, cares about our U.S. presidential election and who is choosing who the president is to be aware of what's happening in A24's, in Alex Garland's A24 Civil War. Uh, I think this is the start of a trend. In my humble opinion, um, Alex Garland's A24 Civil War is a template for how to move five to 15 points in the general election. I think that was 100%. The, this movie is not about art in any way. It's not about making money. It's about getting votes for the left. It's a completely pro-left film. And it's incredibly effective at directly impacting the US presidential election. There's nothing, I don't think, I, yeah, I think this movie is 2% art, um, 2% commerce and 96%, uh, 3% commerce and 95% about actually moving five to 15 percentage points in a U.S. election. I think that's what the film's about. Um, and I'm fascinated by it from that perspective. And this is an international company, A24, using the 100% Hollywood model of using art to inter to directly impact US politics, right? And, um, and I think it's hyper important to pay attention to this film and understand what it is doing and what is it accomplishing, okay? So with all that said, let's talk about, um, so yeah, I, uh, did I get all the way there on what I want? Yeah. Oh, and, and also I think this is the first, so I think this is gonna start to happen I think movies will be made to be released in an election year to move points in the general election. And I think that's exactly what was done here. I think Europe was like, oh, our, you know, half of our lives are determined by U.S. presidential, um, by U.S. presidential decisions. So why don't we get involved on deciding who the president is, right? And so, oh yeah, so let's talk about that. Is it okay for A24 to do this? Yes, it's totally okay, right? So let me get all the way there. 100% legal. They're, they're not breaking any laws, right? We allow any movie to be released in America that can literally overcome the commercial hurdles to being released in our country. We don't, we don't, um, we don't stop art from, we, you know, we're, we celebrate art freedom in America, right? So they had every legal right to do this, right? And also, I kind of get it, right? Like, U.S. president really decides half of the things that are going to happen in Europe. I, I think I think the U.S. president decides more, like, I think what happens in France is decided, determined far more by the U.S. president than President Macron. Yeah. So I get it. I get why they would want to. And there are things, like, they can't bribe. There, there's things that are against the law. Alex Garland and A24 didn't break any of those laws, right? This is completely legal, Right. Uh, they have every right to do this, right? However, I do think it's culturally offensive. I, and, um, but that's okay. <laughs> I live in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly shove, right? Like, so, you know, I've heard uh, a few, uh, a little bit of a p offensive speech in the past. So I do think this is culturally offensive. And actually the only thing I'm really uh, galled at, by, like, the thing I'm really galled at is the, is the gaslighting that's happening that's saying this movie is apolitical. You could not make a film more political than Alex Garland's A24 Civil War. And I want to, I'm making a record, right? To say, hey, you guys didn't get away with this. You know, I know every every critic, every pro-Hollywood critic is like, oh, it's an apolitical film. It's not a, It's not choosing sides. That's the most outrageous statement I've ever heard of any about any piece of art. This is the most political film you could possibly imagine. And so I'm kind of, and I'm, I want on my channel there to be a record like that when people go back, they're like, they didn't fool everybody with this. This is, this is outrageously ridiculous to say this film is apolitical. It should have been shot in red and blue film, 
Like, it is that political, right? It is left-right, blue-red, Democrat, Republican coded in every single frame of the film, okay? And I've, I've started the discussion, right? And today I want to go a little bit further and I want to explain exactly what I mean by coding, right? So the movie starts, so uh, spoilers for the film here, let's, let's go. So the movie starts in a small American town, right? And um, Kirsten Dunst's, uh, uh, Kirsten Dunst's character is there and she's like the grizzled veteran uh, photojournalist. And there's a young, new photojournalist or a girl who's really just a political activist who's a little bit enthusiastic, who's trying to be a photojournalist, right? Kelly, Sp is it Kelly Sparna? I think, yeah, I'm sorry, she's relatively new. I haven't learned her last name yet, my apologies there. So Kelly's character, um, they're both there, right? And this person, I think it was a woman, runs from the back into a large crowd, right? And this woman is holding, not not either one of the photojournalists, right? But a, just a random woman from the crowd, from outside the crowd, runs into the crowd. And she is carrying a gigantic American flag. It's literally six by 10, uh, I would say it's six by 10 feet long. It's six feet high. And then there's like four feet of pole beneath, beneath that. And then 10 feet long. And it flows out in the wind of her running, right? And so you have this woman running into the crowd with an American flag, right? A gigantic American flag. Now, oh, we didn't we didn't pick any sides. It's not right or left. Are, are you are you kidding? Right? That woman's a Republican. That woman is a right red Republican. You know how I know? Because you couldn't get a left blue Democrat to hold a dollar store flag that's four inches long. Liberals hate the American flag. They never ever put it on their lawn. You don't see it hanging from the flag door, from the flag post on their door, right? They despise the American flag. Left blue Democrats consider the American flag jingoism. Right? So we say patriotism, they say jingoism, right? So there's no possibility that anyone but a right red Republican is carrying an American flag that is six feet high by 10 feet long, right? As a, um, is, is ever going to carry that, right? So now that we've established this red Republican, you know, this right red Republican is carrying this American flag because it couldn't, could, certainly couldn't be a Democrat, because you could get not get an authoritarian pacifist vegan to hold even a four inch flag, let alone a six feet by 10 foot long flag, right? And so what does she do? She do, she runs into the crowd and tickety boom, 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 everybody drops, right? So this person is a horrible, is making a horrible moral choice and she's harming people, right? And she's self-deleting herself, right? That's a dark depiction of a right red, red Republican. And the reason it's there is Alex Garland chose sides and made the most political possible film he could. It's framed left, right, blue, red, Democrat, Republican in every frame and everywhere possible. Republicans are portrayed as killers and dolts and Democrats are, 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 are played as cool heroes. The movie could not be more political. And so we need to be aware of what's being done. And so I'm going on record now to say, hey, I saw this movie. This is my critique of the film. And I'm telling you right now, this movie is coded in every single frame, in every single second. Any fool critic who watched this movie and uses the word apolitical, right? or not choosing sides is, is, is one, this is possible, outrageously ignorant of the American political process, right? Or they are purposely 
giving cover so that left blue Democrats can say that supporting their side is apolitical. It's just a human thing to do, right? This is one of the deepest cut um, attempts at hiding clear political speech I have ever seen. And I just want to be on record. I ain't buying it. This movie is coded left, right, red, blue, coded left, right, blue, red, Democrat, Republican, in every frame, in every second, Alex Garland absolutely put, picked sides to castigate Republicans and exalt Democrats. A24 funded it and they distributed it. They had every right to do it. It's culturally offensive and I recognize it for what it is. And I'm asking you to recognize it because this is going to happen again in 2028. So don't be surprised when it comes. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion, nothing more or less. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking and subscribing and have a fetch millennium.